What is up everyone and we are back again with another guide on Fantasy Star Online 2. Today we're going to be talking about Rising Weapon Badges 2, the better of the two. This is because Rising Weapon 2 Badges gives you Ray Weapons, the key ingredient in achieving Astral Soul Augment, a plus 35 all, plus 35 HP, and plus 5 PP Augment. By far, the best Soul Augment in the game to include up to episode 6 and the North America version is currently only on episode 3, so it can last you quite a while. In order to get to the weapon badge NPC, go to the shopping plaza and head up these stairs. Talk to the second NPC and that's where the exchange sensor is. The easiest way to get these weapon badges is through the mission pass. The top tier or purple tier is the free one and the gold tier or the bottom tier is the pay to play one. Both of them give Rising Weapon Badge number 2. You just get an extra set of rewards with the gold tier. And in order to unlock these tiers, you have to get 10 of these stars. And those stars are acquired through daily missions. This gives one star. Weekly missions, another star. And tier missions. These give 8 stars. So try to finish these as soon as possible. Another way to get these is through urgent quests. The best urgent quest to get these at is Gone with the Rain and Moon. This is the Nevarious Forest urgent quest. You get them by defeating bosses at the highest difficulty and it's highly recommended to be in a party and use drop boosters in order to get them because they are not a 100% drop rate. I've tried the Wolpal urgent quest many times on the highest difficulty and I didn't receive one from all the boss kills. However, doing Gone with the Rain and Wind for 40 minutes, I've gotten over 20 weapon badges number 2. One thing to look out for are nows. Kill them as soon as you see them. They don't drop rising weapon badges, however after you defeat them, they cry and call out for help. And if you're lucky, it will spawn two mini bosses for more chances at rising weapon badges. Now, when you reach a thousand points but the event is over, stay because mobs will continue to spawn until all people on the map have a thousand points. However, the person who doesn't have a thousand points has to go out and trigger the mobs to spawn. They can't just sit and spawn so you can farm forever. If you're lucky, you get a group of people joining at the last second, allowing you to farm for another 10 minutes or so. Also, not confirmed, but someone stated Mining Base Urgent Quest gives Rising Weapon badges too, as well. So check that out and let us know. To recap, do daily, weekly, and tier missions to get stars that unlock rewards on your mission pass. Do Gone with the Rain and Wind and farm only bosses. If you're at a thousand points but a PSE burst is in effect, leave because you're wasting time as bosses don't spawn with it, this effect. All you're doing is gaining EXP but our goal is to farm Rising Weapon Badges too. Kill Nyaos in hopes of it spawning two more bosses. When the event is over, stay until everyone in the map has a thousand points where the mob stops spawning. This allows you to farm a little bit longer, up to 10 minutes or so. 
If a PSE burst happens, I would recommend for you to run around to trigger bosses to spawn. If you stay with a PSE burst and kill a bunch of mobs, that's going to get everyone to a thousand points quicker, the last thing you want to do. Lastly, if this helped you, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. If you have a question about the game and want a video about it, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Boop, boop.